New Orleans post Katrina? I haven't. Yeah, I, I haven't. I, I've actually only been in New Orleans four or five times. My parents are from Lake Charles, mm -hmm. and so I went and visit there, and I seen all the records that it is there, and I just heard that it's ten times worse in New Orleans. So I couldn't imagine what it'd be like there. Thanks. Yes, sir. Thank you. Kevin, as I said, in the, you know, this is coming this okay. is your last game. Well, at least that's college game. Has that kind of set in at all yet? Are you uh, just kind of in, in, enjoying the ride? I'm enjoying the ride. You know, I try to just dwell on that it's the end. You know, I kind of uh, appreciate these practices that we have here. Appreciate being able to get out here and practice and grind with my brothers and everything like that. But, you know, I feel like it's going to set in more when the game's on, uh, coming up. Yeah, and probably once the game finishes, maybe they're like, oh, well, I was it. And so. How, I say, how important is it to go out on, on a win for you? Uh, you know, I always like to win. You know, our team sure. likes to win. And it'll be really good for the whole program. You know, uh, we have a lot of winners on this team. We're bred to win. We don't like losing. Uh, we went 10-2 and two this season. That's just a testament to the work that we had. You know, we pulled them out at the end, some games at the end. And we completely uh, beat some teams at the beginning. So, you know, it's just a testament to us wanting to fight and be able to be uh, victorious. And I think we're going to do that really well this year. You know, watching film on Ole Miss, what do you see in them? As a challenge. Uh, you know, they were the number one uh, offense in SEC, so you know they're going to be able to do a lot of shots. And they have a great offensive line, they have a good quarterback, great receivers, so you know we've got to bottle them as much as we can. But you know, it always starts with the run. You know, SEC, school, SEC schools are really big on uh, running and pounding you up, so you know, we're just going to play the best game we have to play, and uh, they're going to play their best game too. What's the best bowl gift you ever got in your career? Um, my Beats headphones that I got last year because Ooh, I was always right. a big music music listener and uh, my girlfriend had some and I had to borrow hers for the longest, <laughs> but then I actually had the opportunity to get some. So with both the Beats, I still got them. They still look brand new in my locker sitting right now, so I use them every single day. Nice. You know, obviously there's always this national conversation about you guys getting paid and what you do. Is it kind of nice to get a little bit of a reward? You, you go there, I know they have like a, they have like all these things mm -hmm. set up and you get to pick what you want. I mean, how fun is that for you guys to go in there and, and do that? Oh, it's a lot of fun. That's what I was telling Mike Hunter. I was saying, uh, you don't get paid for play, but once you make it to a bowl game, you know, the more you during the season, the nicer things you get at the end of the year. So it's kind of like a vacation in a yeah. sense because you get to go be with all your friends and things like that. But it's a business trip. Yeah. You know, we go in there, we're working, we uh, we're really working for something. We're, uh, we're just in a different city, doing and we're doing together, and we're in a hotel. So you know, it's uh, it's fun to be able to be around all your friends in a different city, but at the same time, it's work time, and uh, we got a plan, and we got a game to win. Do you know what uh, what the gifts are going to be this time? Have, have they told you, or do you find out once you get there? Do you uh, know how that works? We kind of find out once we get there, but you know they keep us informed here at OSU. They keep us informed really on our entire schedule. But yeah. uh, the bowl gifts are kind of a mystery sometimes until you get down there. So you know we don't know what we're going to get yet, but I'm sure it's going to be good. All right, I'm sure. Thanks, yep. Kevin, is, is there some Big 12 pride on the line in this game? Uh, there's always Big 12 pride. You know, anytime, uh, every time the season's over and we go into the postseason, I'm rooting for any Big 12 team. You know, whether it's OU, TCU, Baylor, Iowa State, no matter who it is, you know, I always want to pull for them playing against another conference. And it definitely is. So I feel like it's a little clout there. You know, this was uh, Big 12 SEC now has the Sugar Bowl arrangement, had the Cotton Bowl arrangement for years and years, and the SEC dominated yes, sir. the last 12 years of it. What what can you do as a conference to to sort of turn that tide? Uh, you know, we got to win. We got to win. We got to go out there and show them that we're the best conference. You know, we play good ball here. We send guys to the NFL here. We just have great players here. You know, uh, we have a lot of guys uh, that were at the award ceremony yesterday. And so, you know, it's just a testament to guys uh, worth it and working hard. So, you know, we got to go out there and get the winners. I think the only thing that can really, it's just some SEC mouth up.